welcome back to my channel today i have my october subscriptions and we are just gonna get right into it so the first one i have is the october 2021 mystery from spc i watch her reveal videos every month and i saw some people give their feedback and a lot of people didn't like it and i was so sad i get it you know this theme has been done um i'm sure this is a new artist to her and i feel like a lot of people didn't like the artwork either but i think it's so pretty granted the girls the this artist style it almost looks like a photograph so i i like it i get it i'm not going skiing and i don't have friends so um I, I don't know when I would use it. I, I'm probably still going to use it in January just because I like the kit, but we'll see. But these are the full boxes. The tall box. I love this girl. She is stunning. But that's the tall box. And then you have the deco. The glitter headers. The round boxes. The solid boxes, the pattern boxes, the bottom washi, the two extra boxes, which I love. Then you have the extra color, which is super cute. And then the label add-on, the sampler, sorry. <laughs> then the extra fashion girls, the extra pattern boxes, and the 15 millimeter washi. And she did pair this with silver snowflakes. So you get two pages of the full box overlays and um, glitter header overlays two of the bougie boxes the icons and scripts and then your bottom washi fancy date covers deco and date numbers so i think it was a cute subscription not a lot of people liked it i get it not a fan favorite but here we are i literally just had all my subscriptions in my hand and i lost them all so, I mean, that's kind of what you get when you are doing subscriptions. I mean, that's the whole point of them. So, I get not everyone's going to like it, and that's perfectly fine. I mean, that's why they have buy-sell trades and all that stuff. So, it is what it is. All right, the next one is the October Mystery from Crest Press called Self Love. Um, I did get two bottom washi overlays or 15 millimeters. Um, this one says self-love and this one says murder mystery. So I'm wondering if there was just a mistake or I don't know, but we have two. But this is the kit. So this is the deco, the full boxes, which are, they're cute. I think this is a really pretty spring kit. The solid boxes, the pattern boxes, the glitter headers, the functional, the little things, the ombre heart checklist, the bottom washi date covers, and then there's an extra box, and the fashion girls with the extra skin tone there, which I love this fashion girl, she's so pretty. But that was the kit, and this is the foil bundle. So there's a page of the glitter header, um, a glitter header, the full box overlays, the glitter header overlays, bottom washi, deco, fancy um, glitter header overlays, the whole reinforcers, numbers, um, icons, and scripts, and then two pages of the bougie boxes. All right, the next one is the Shop Jessica Heart Mystery. And this is the journaling card. It says Deck the Halls. So these are the half boxes. The glitter, uh, I can't talk. The Umber Heart Checklist, the little things, the bottom washi, which is super cute. And I love to use this as a tall box. The 
full boxes, which are stunning. I love all the green. I love this for a quilt overlay. The functional. And then this is the ultimate um, sheet, which has the glitter headers. And she's now putting an extra box, which I absolutely love. And she paired this with silver, which I thought was perfect. So you have the bottom washi that says deck the halls with bouts of holly. Tis the season to be jolly. Deck the halls. And then this box goes over the present box. So the bows line up with the gifts, which I thought was super cute. So that is my shop Jessica Hart. Next shop I have is my Glam Planner Mystery for October 2021. Um, this is my first kit back resubscribed. I, I don't know, but um, I did cancel it for a while, but I decided to um, resubscribe. So this is the first one I'm getting back and I really like this kit. So these are the full boxes. It's like a witchy type kit. Um, it reminds me of Carly Plans, honestly. But um, these are the full boxes. And you have your heart checklist. The extra boxes. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of the colorway. But I don't know. But yeah, those are the extra two boxes. Then you have your heart checklist and some more boxes. Then your deco and functional. The patterns. The little things. The bottom washi. And then these are your fashion girls, which I love this girl here. I like this one too, but I really like this one. I like the straight hair. Um, and then you have two more variations and then your um, extra skin tones and then an extra box here. And then these are the extras. So you have the double box, the label sampler, the glitter headers. And then you have the... Um, brain fart foil my goodness I could not speak I could not think for a second but these are this is like the double box in a box and then you have like a uh, quarter box overlays and then you have the half cut headers I'm glad she's now putting in glitter header overlays um, I don't know if this is the first month or if she had started before but like I said I, ha I haven't been subscribed for a while so this is the first time I'm seeing this then you have the bottom washi and then all of your various box overlays. So I am not mad for the first one back. Um, this is definitely like a September kit for me. Like I would definitely use this in September. But um, really cute. The next subscription I have is my Villainous Wax. So this is the journaling card. And then these are all of the um, scents. And the theme of this box is game over. So, oh, by the way, why didn't anyone tell me that it tells you what the wax melt was inspired by? Because last month I couldn't remember. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I'll know what it is after I find out. But just by the names of it, I can't put two and two together. So, <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so let's get into it. The first melt is Ginger Island. And the scents notes are honey, ginger, fresh limes, coconut shavings, and golden sand. And this is inspired by Stardew Valley. I think that's how you say it. By the way, I am not by any means a gamer. I mean, I play some games. But I don't know what literally 80% of this box is. So that's just how it looks. And it smells very fresh. I like it. It's not that bad. 
All right, the next one is Triforce, and the scent notes are Rolling High, High Wool. What? No idea. Hills and olives dusted with sea salt and coriander. And this is inspired by The Legend of Zelda. I've heard of that one, but I don't know. I've never played the game. And that's so cute. It's a very subtle smell. But it almost smells like fresh cut grass. But there's that one. The next one is Get Those Ghost. And it's extra fruity cereal and toasted marshmallow ghost. <laughs> and this one, without even looking at the card, I knew it was um, inspired by Pac-Man. So, all oh, that is so cute. And it smells just like, like Fruity Pebbles. So, love that. Then we have Tend to Your Garden. And again, this is another one that I knew without looking at the card. It's Animal Crossing. Um, I do play Animal Crossing. So, uh, the scent notes are Golden Rose Petal, Jasmine Vines. I don't I'm not even going to try to say that. Oh, no uh crowns and leafy greens and that is so cute and i do really like the smell it's very florally but i really do like it then we have is it ladycroft mm -hmm. and this is inspired by tomb raider um, ancient sandalwood, roasting charcoal, tonka bean, and leather straps. I mean, that just, like, clears out your nose. Like, it smells like brand new leather something. Not the biggest fan, honestly. Particular scents. You know, not everyone vibes with them. Um, the next one is Belmont Clan, and this is inspired by Castlevania, I think. I don't know. Um, cool Cologne, Succulent, Blood Orange, and Black Pepper. That's really cute. And the smell is very subtle, but I'm sure once you warm it up, it'll bring those notes out but it actually does smell pretty good so i like that this was another one that i knew um and this is dk country and this is inspired by donkey kong and it has bananas jungle greens old whiskey barrel and rhino horn japs so, very simple not in a bad way and this smells really good i don't know but this was inspired by mario brothers i believe why is it warrior who is i don't know but it's inspired by mario brothers anyways it's a fizzy lemon cream soda old treasure map and manly musk clearly i'm not up to Mario characters, but I have played it. It smells really good. I feel like I can smell the cream soda a lot. All right, the next one is Big Daddy, and this is inspired by Bioshock, and yeah, I think it's Bioshock, I don't know. Salty ocean floors, metal diving suits, and gunpowder. Interesting. It, I don't. I don't know about this one. I might. It might smell differently once you warm it up. But all right, the last one is 
Wumpa Island, I think. And this is Crash Bandicoot. Um, Crash is one of my favorite games. So, um, yeah, I knew which one this was. And it's apple, apples, pear, cool coconut milk, and eucalyptus sprigs. So, by the way, I'm filming this at 4 a.m., so don't judge my reading. Thank you. Anyways, that's what it looks like. And it smells really good. There's like a, I think it's the eucalyptus. It gives it like a minty scent, but it smells really good. All right. And the last thing in the box, which is always like a little collab that she does. Um, this is a Pokemon pen from Here Comes the Nerd, I believe. Oh yeah, it says it right there. I'm such an idiot. Um, I don't know which Pokemon this is, but it's super cute. And it has the two pens in the back. So, yeah. That is cute, but that is everything for my October Villainous Wax subscription so i will see you in the last part which is my boxy charm i will say um i pre-recorded that one and just a heads up i did cancel my boxy charm so i believe this is the last box you guys will see in my Oct uh, october in my subscription uh videos but um yeah i'll see you guys in that clip <laughs> all right so my last subscription is boxy charm and the theme is spellbound this journaling card is super cute, but I'm not going to open it because I think it has a bunch of coupon codes, but the back has everything that's in the box and the prices. So the first thing in the box is this Pericone MD, and it's a citrus brightening cleanser. Um, I'm not going to use this. I have a skincare routine and I don't want my face to break out if I do something new. But this retails for $35, so I'll be putting this in my d stash giveaway. And then we have the Dew of the Gods Collagen Under Eye Pads. I will try these just because I, I've gotten a lot of under eye masks and I never try them, so why not? But it comes with a set of 10 and this retails for $20. And then I got the Benefit Cosmetics um, Georgia Golden Peach Blush. And it comes with a little brush. And then I don't know if you can see the color, but it's super cute. I will definitely be keeping this. And that retails for $30. So this alone almost makes up for the price of the entire box. So can't really complain. The next thing is the Lily Lashes Level Up Lash Enhancing Serum. Um, it says it has a three month supply. I'm still on the fence about this one. I might try it, I might not, I don't know. But this retails for $65. Maybe I should try it, I don't know. And then I have the Tarte Man Eater Plumping Gloss. The, this retails for $19 and this is in the shade buff so super cute i'll definitely keep this can't have too many glosses so that's that and then the last thing in the box is the rowan i believe it's pronounced uh val brow so you definitely have to like really press it in it's not very creamy but i'll still try it um, and this retails for $26. And this is in the shade medium, if I didn't say that. So that is everything I got in my Boxy Charm Premium box this month. Definitely mm, not the best, not the worst. I'm still on the fence about it. Um, they did raise the prices, so we'll see if we get better things. I don't know. So we'll, we will see, I, I will try again next month, but I'm seriously starting to think about maybe canceling it. So I don't know, we'll see. But that is everything for my October subscriptions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.